would you look where we find ourselves outside the Halo Paramount booth for the final time. Hello. Uh, what's your name, sorry? Yeah, Installation 00. It's Installation 00. Um, yeah. yeah, I think I might have seen one of your videos. I'm a, I'm a small time. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, no, no, no absolutely. I'm just starting out, really. I mean, the domain, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, ob yeah, ob obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you, by the way? Uh, the domain. Oh, wow. wow. That's wow. crazy, dude. That's crazy. Blessed. Basically, a, a little bit of final reflections on the end of this incredibly chaotic five days. We've been at this event, CCXP in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Is this, is this day five? It is, it's day five. Day five yeah. We arrived on a Wednesday, we had a VIP night on the Wednesday and then we've been working at the event for four days straight. Goodness me, it has been absolutely crazy. As the title would suggest, we're here to just give uh, just a few of our thoughts on the state of the economy, <laughs> the yeah. economy being Halo, and the series, because yes, this is the TV series. We were paid to be here by Paramount Plus, but our thoughts are our own. There is nothing in any contract that says we have to be a certain way about this show, talk a certain way. We can do whatever we want. Actually, the amount of requirements from Paramount for us to be here are very small. So we thought we'd round off the day by sort of talking about the fact that yesterday yeah, I know. So many people just like absolutely do not know and walk straight in front. Yesterday, we sat and watched on a movie screen yeah. the trailer for Halo, we did the it series too. season two. And it is so good. It is. Like, it is so, it, it's so good. And maybe like, you know, when you, like we're conditioned now to consume hundreds of trailers, you flick through them quickly on your mobile phone, you barely think about it. But seeing it on a big screen, seeing Halo on a big screen yeah. was very special. Yeah, and absolutely. obviously, you, like you fangirled at the fact that it was uh, the fall of Reach. Like, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Fall of Reach, baby! Fall of Reach! I mean, the, 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 the graphical representation of the Fall of Reach, of the glassing, the ships rising through the, the, through the clouds was absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's unsurprising I fangirled at that. Also, I, I just keep on looking at the camera screen. You, you're just so much taller than me, man. It's not, it's not good. This is like a Hidden Xperia and Uber Nick level uh, banter between heights. <laughs> Basically, Installation 00 reached out to me. He needed a cameraman. And we've, we've become uh, an inseparable duo yeah. at this point. Like father, like son. Yeah. It's a blessed experience and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for everything that we have. Uh, I'm grateful for Paramount Plus for flying us out here and, uh, and letting us just speak our minds. And honestly, like, I have nothing but good things to say about the TV show right now. Like, we're not here to talk about season one. Yeah, when you read the comment section of all of the trailers for season two, a lot of the comments are just whining about they're, season they're just, one. Yeah, they're, they're and, mainly, well, mainly focused on, yeah. I don't want to say whining, that's a bad choice of words. I mean, there, there are so many valid criticisms of se season one of the show. But you have to understand, season two, Pablo Shriver has come on as an executive producer. Yeah, indeed. There are new writers, new showrunners. It's a new show. It is. And it has to be treated like that, right? Like, we have to go in with a new lens ready to uh, accept Halo back into our life. Like, I don't know. Any Halo fan knows that mid-season two was just depression. It was just pure... Mid-season two for Infinite, It yeah. was horrible, yeah. it was horrible. Mid-season two, uh, that, the day that they announced that season three was also gonna be six months long. Yeah. And it just, it, it sucked, really man. And ever since that, ever since the botch launch of Halo Infinite and the TV show being pretty pretty bad to start with it, it was just it was brutal being a halo fan and it was brutal being a halo fan online like yeah. being a halo content creator was brutal not only were the views way down which they are now trending up even if you defended the show you're just a shill. this booth right here i've never seen an activation at a comic-con as cool as this to do with halo like this is showing the best of halo the me. host like supporting everything here to, that, that we've had through this week um, and seeing the trailer and supporting season two and the way that it's come around, it only makes sense. If we, if we love the franchise, yeah. I understand being, I understand loving the franchise and wanting it to be the best it can be, yeah, yeah. but actually accepting that there's a good chance that this could be on the turn, that we may well be entering tentatively we in, into a second golden age 
Yeah. Halo Infinite is in the best condition it's been in a long time. Halo's stats on, on Steam and on Xbox have trended up. I'm sure I, I caught it on good word that we were basically at number one position for yep. at least a day or two yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. So Halo Infinite's in a fantastic place. Halo MCC is getting ridiculous levels of additional support yeah. um, with, with old and, and scrap content being brought back into the fold. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Tomorrow, just about, we're announcing yeah. sort of the next big thing for Halo Infinite. Yeah. And we've got the reveal of season two for the TV show, the teaser of which is phenomenally, is good, phenomenally good and and phenomenally well executed. The the the, the iconography, the, the use of the you will be remembered, that hearkening back to you know remember re I've got the so desperate much. struggle that you yeah. can feel in that trailer. Exactly, oh. yeah. The covenant are on humanity's doorstep. We are we are on the pinnacle edge of that golden age of Halo, but being told through a different medium. Yeah. And I'm all for it. I was there for the launch of Halo 3, but uh, Halo Reach was like during my high school days, so I remember it fondly, but I would have loved to experience that as an adult. If you took me as a child, plucked me out, put me down today, showed me that trailer, the mod support on MCC, and like wave after wave of like, like um, Night of the Undead survival on Halo Infinite, I, j I simply wouldn't have believed if it. If you told me the fact that we had AI Forge, Finally, Finally, for the first time, I genuinely feel like this is Paramount putting down the money. Like, I, I was very concerned that they'd lost faith in the show. Yeah. yeah but this exactly. is them saying, like, this is still their flagship. And all the experiences we've had this weekend, all the experiences I had at SDCC last month, all the experiences we had at HCS last month, I love Halo more than basically anything. And if I can see this franchise enter a new golden era, I'm all for it. And I'm all for season two of the, of the show. Like, people love a redemption arc. Yeah, hell yeah. People yeah. love a redemption arc. Like, Halo Infinite is now gonna be bigger and better than ever. If you can get season two of the Halo TV show and make it work, yeah. it could arguably get more traction than it would have done anyway. Absolutely. Because it was terrible and now it's phenomenal. Like, yeah. I'm all for Other it. Other than that, Martin, this has been just such a pleasure. Yeah, that's, that's indeed the pleasure's been mine. I will die for you. Uh, he just told me I'm his best man at his wedding. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. And yeah, uh, here's to Halo. Here's to the season two of the show, the fall of People are coming back to Halo, man. They're coming back. Domain and Installation 00, signing off. See you next time, folks. <laughs>